Hi everyone! Hi! Welcome back to my channel after a very long time and I have my beautiful friend Saji here today in my studio and I did this gorgeous look on her. What do you think? I feel so pretty and so, so glam, glam. <laughs> and like a star. <laughs> Okay, so I used everything from Charlotte Tilbury because if you guys have not been following us on Instagram, you should know that we won a Charlotte Tilbury giveaway sometimes yes, back. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so we won this foundation, which is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, she won one for herself, and I won one for myself. And then she also gave. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury's team also gave us a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products to play with, and I used everything. Um, Charlotte Tilbury to create this gorgeous look on her. Um, so if you're interested, please keep watching because we'll be reviewing this foundation and a lot of other Charlotte Tilbury products. Right. So I'm going to start with, this is Charlotte's Infamous Magic Cream. So do you have like normal skin or do you have dry skin? Yeah, it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's mostly normal skin. Okay. But it tends to get oily if I go out in the sun. Okay. And especially around the cheeks and uh, like here uh, around the neck area it gets a bit oily and sometimes I get uh, pimples oh okay <laughs> so so it's cool yeah it's nice right it is cool and it doesn't feel oily so Charlotte likes to apply a lot of this just going to like massage it that feels really good <laughs> <laughs> I like it someone and the cream feels so good. Right? It doesn't feel oily, but then it's yes. hydrating. It feels so good. Yeah? Yeah. Hydrated, right? Yeah. And you're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the primer I'm going to use on Saji. This is Brightening Youth Glow. Tell me, do you normally like dewy skin or do you like like glowy skin or do you want it completely matte? Uh, yeah, it actually depends on the uh, occasion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, I like a little glow and highlights and mm -hmm. things like that, but not so matte. Not so matte. Not okay, so matte. Nice. A little glow I like because then you feel like you're colorful and yeah. wearing makeup. True. Then it feels good. Yeah. Otherwise, you are just like matte like, and then you feel lifeless. Yes, yeah. lifeless. <laughs> I like a little bit of color and glow. And So I'm focusing more of this on your cheeks mm -hmm. because this is also like color correcting and it also like smooths the skin. You have a bit of texture here. Yes. A little bit here. So in your cheeks you have some texture. More pe most people have texture on their cheeks. Uh, and then you have the scar yeah. from your accident. Yes. That tend like uh, when I get pimples, these are the areas right. that I get them a lot on. So now we will use the star of the show, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. <laughs> we actually won a foundation each about a few months ago. Uh, we entered one of Charlotte Tilbury's giveaways. We won one foundation for each. Yes. They asked us to send a picture wearing no makeup and taken under natural light. And I think they did an amazing job yes. uh, with color matching. I'm wearing my shade which is Cool 8 and, and nine. 9. Hers is Cool 9. So I'm going to take a full pump. So I'm going to take the Hollywood Complexion brush and I'm taking the bigger side and I'd first like to just stamp it. So now I'm just buffing it. This is what we call the buffing motion. And the brush feels so soft on the face. It feels very luxurious, right? Very luxurious. So immediately I can see that your texture is noticeably less. Like here. Especially the scar is less noticeable now. Yeah. And all your previous um, people scars, they're all like very less visible. Because it's really uh, difficult, right? When mm -hmm. I, because I have this scar and it's mm -hmm. a little bit of a deep mark here. Yeah. It's always difficult like in one go to cover that yeah. up. I always have to like uh, use a concealer, foundation, like a lot of like things. about two layers of it. Yeah. Quite a lot I have to use to get rid of that, like at least to tone it down. Yeah. And this just happened in one go. That's actually a complete 
full cover up. Cover yeah, up. but you don't feel like it's full coverage, right? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't feel heavy, but then it covers all. Yeah, stuff, which is really good. So your foundation tends to look a little like orange, but we tested it last time. It then settled to like a perfect yes. tone. So you have to give it about five minutes. It doesn't oxidize. It just settles to your skin tone so what i can see is like your skin looks like skin and your scars are really really toned down toned down you had a reddish pupil here yes i know I just got colored. it yesterday <laughs> yeah it's just the bump you can see but the color is completely gone the face is more even too i will use the same foundation as her concealer because i've seen charlotte does that and because this is full coverage you can actually use it as a concealer so you're actually saving money it is expensive yes but it's worth it. I'm going to take the smaller side of the brush. So because this is foundation, here's a small trick for you. It's not concealer, it's foundation. So it's slightly thinner in consistency. So because of that, I like to keep it on your skin for about a minute. Let it get a little thicker. Okay, when it's exposed to the air, it gets a little thicker. So that it gives more coverage. That's a tip you will not hear from a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, now I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can see your color is more like settled. It looks really beautiful and it looks really glowing on you. I like the glow. Yeah. <laughs> I like it when it glows. You can clearly see it covers the dark circle. I mean, <clears throat> for someone who doesn't have heavy dark circles, they can definitely use this as their concealer. Now this is a new trick, I'm definitely going to try yeah. that because... It looks more natural this Yeah, way. I never knew that I could do that <laughs> with the yeah. foundation. Really? Yes. So now it's been about 2-3 minutes since we applied this foundation and it's really like settling. It looks so beautiful. I feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're always beautiful but then I think... This, this is extra today. It's like, extra. It's, it's so nice, the coverage. Yeah. And it's like not so much foundation yeah. that you used on my yeah, skin just today, one bump, but, but it covered everything, yes. it like evened out her skin. So now I'm going to give you more glow. So this is Hollywood um, Beauty Light Wand. And you know Charlotte Tilbury is very much inspired by Hollywood and celebrities because she has dressed so many celebrities for red carpet. So everything is inspired by Hollywood and I'm going to get a little bit of product to the back of my hand. I don't like it apply this directly because that will be a little bit less hygienic I feel and I would like to use this with my fingertip you're gonna see a beautiful glow in a minute actually within a second <laughs> look at that and I like to just cut it and it's so easy anyone can do this you don't have to be pro to apply this and the best thing is because it's a liquid it looks like you're lit from within it doesn't look like you're put highlighter like that look at that glow <laughs> let me check myself in the mirror wow <laughs> look at it it's so nice yeah it's beautiful radiant and beautiful. it's so radiant yeah so now we're going to set everything so i like to use powders after i finish with all the liquids so i'm going to use this this is again another extremely famous product from charlotte tilbury i, I have know seen people, a lot yeah in your <laughs> yes, videos <laughs> exactly and a lot of people like you know azra from daily cup of yes. life she has bought about five or four of these because she loves it and i mean you'll see why so i'm going to also take this brush set I and mean, look at how luxurious that looks. Love the packaging. I, I know. Mean, like in everything. Yeah. So this is the brush set. I'm going to take the big brush. So actually I'm going to use only five brushes in this video. And you'll see you can do an entire makeup look with just five brushes. So I'm using this big fluffy brush. I will take this powder. This is the only pressed powder that does not crease your concealer. Wow. So look up. And if you see any creasing, you just, just push it back. And then you basically stamp the powder. I like to just stamp it there. Not like... No, you're not like yes. doing that. Amazing. And the brush peel is super soft. Yeah, and you can see immediately it mattified this area. So we are not making your entire face glow like a disco ball. It's just strategically placed highlighter. So you have highlighter here, you have some highlighter here. I'm not going to put any here because you said your nose gets a little oily. Yes. So you let it shine naturally. And I will put a little bit of powder here on your chin. Mm -hmm. And also on your nose. Just to like control that shine, right? Everywhere else, I will just leave it. You have to get this powder, Sajid. Yes, I know. It's amazing. And the brushes too. Love it. 
just love the way how it feels on the skin especially my face i think is like super sensitive and soft yeah so this brush feels so good on the skin you look very radiant oh i like <laughs> just the way i like yeah it's pretty so i'm going to take the same brush and i will clean it and then i will use some bronzer on you i like the idea of bronzer yeah the Charlotte's bronzer you can actually slightly contour with it because it's not too warm. It's like the perfect shade to contour and bronze at the same time. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. Please don't look at this side <laughs> broken. But yeah, this is the bronzer. So I'm using the medium to dark. Taking the same brush. Now this one is a little bit pigmented, so you have to be careful. Follow the hollow. That's what Charlotte says. Follow the hollow. So you make a fish face. You see this hollow here? That's where you're putting this bronzer because this is a bigger brush. It actually diffuses very nice, so you don't have to do a lot of blending. I can see even from the screen. Okay. Yeah, you it's have a tough. nice like a yeah. contour, but it's not like crazy contour. It's a beautiful, subtle contour. It doesn't look like you have put contour. It's just like you yeah. have naturally. I like when it looks natural. Yeah, I don't like some people do it very I know, harsh like lines. Very harsh, and you can see this. Yes. Like a, <laughs> yeah, like a brown stripe here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's elegant at all. <laughs> at all. So I'm going to put a little bit on your forehead, mm -hmm. just here, and just a little bit here. I feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> because it's so uh, subtle, but also it's wow, noticeable, it's but it's beautiful. just beautiful. Natural. The blush, I know you love blush. Oh, favorite part. <laughs> yeah, her favorite is blush. Mine is because blush. it's so <laughs> colorful. <laughs> yeah, it adds color. And I think it also adds more youth to your face. Yes. So I know some people don't like to wear blush because it makes them look like clown. Mm -hmm. But that is because they don't know how to apply blush and they're applying the wrong color. Wrong color, I think. Yes. If you do the right color, I think it's yeah. All it enhances is. your features. So I'm going to use a blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk. I like the names. They're so fancy. I know, right? This is Pillow Talk. So it has a highlighter in the center and the blush around. You can mix them or you can use them individually. So I'm going to use them individually. So again, clean the brush. It's amazing how you did so many different things. With applications the with the same brush. brush. I know. So it's super cool because then you don't need to spend so, so much, much money and on so many yeah, different Yeah, it's such a good investment, these kind of brushes, you know, very versatile. So I'm going to take just the blush part. Okay, so I want you to smile. And I'm applying this right on the apples of your cheeks. First, like that. And then I like to just push it up. So it also gives you a little bit of a lift. And here's another thing. I would like to apply just a tiny bit more blush than you would require because blush tends to disappear the first thing from your face. It's the first thing to disappear. This is a more like a glowing blush, but it does not emphasize your texture. Wow. And that's the kind of blush I love to yeah, wear. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so nice. So whatever's left on my brush, I would just put a little bit on your eyelid, just a little bit. So one thing I forgot to do was to contour your nose. And for that, I'm going to take this brush. So again, this is another very versatile brush, you see. I'm using it to contour your nose. So again, I'm taking the Filmstar uh, Bronze and Glow palette and... I'm taking this bronzer. So I'm going to actually trace your natural nose or I would say the contours of your nose naturally and I would just put it down the side of your nose, bring it like this and then bring it up. So this is how Charlotte does the nose contour. It's not a crazy pinched up Barbie doll plastic nose. It's a yeah. very believable and natural and naturally enhanced nose contour. Just adds a little bit of definition to your nose. Let's also put a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to use the highlighter shade from the blush. And again, I'm using the same brush. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to just dip the brush just a corner. Just a corner of the brush. So I'll just put that on the high points of her cheeks. On the center of your Okay, are you ready for your eyes? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. So look at how gorgeous this one is. That is definitely Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is the palette I'm going to use. This is Tari Eyes to Hypnotize. So which wow. of these trios would you like to use? Ooh, all of it. <laughs> if I can. Um, uh, but I think these okay. would look good. What right? do you like? I know we used it last time, but if you would like something else, you can um, yeah. This I like, but... Yeah, it's a little bit muddy. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. said it's so muddy. So this Dream Glow is a little bit... Sorry. This one is a little bit muddy on our skin tones. Maybe this because yeah. we didn't use this. One. Yeah, okay. So, so I'm going to use this trio on her. This is called Love Glow. So I'll clean this brush again. Now it's ready for eyeshadow. So I'm doing it the Charlotte Tilbury way. So I'll first use a prime shade, which is this one. So she doesn't apply like eyeshadow primer. She usually applies a shadow, which is what she calls a primer. I'm going to put this ready all to over glow. Again. Yeah, glow more. <laughs> ready to glow even more, like a star. You do look like a star. <laughs> I feel like one. So I'm putting this basically all over her lid. And I will do one eye on the camera and the other one off the camera. And next I will take this color which is Enhance. And for that I'm going to change the brush. And I will take that color and I will put it right at the corner. And starting from the corner I will bring it in. That's the Enhance shape. Now I will smoke it using the smoke shade which is this one. Again the same brush. Because of your eye shape, I like to first put a small V shape here. And then with the previous brush, I will blend that. And I will also take the same smudger brush and put the smoke shade look up right on your lash line. You can't see any harsh lines. And one last step, I would take the same prime shape and then pop it right here. Okay. So I'm going to do her eyeliner, her mascara and the other eye of course. And then I will also put some lashes on her off the camera quickly. Okay, so I put some lashes on her. They're also from Charlotte Tilbury. I will zoom in and show you how natural and gorgeous they look. The set is called Natural Cheek Lash. So I know that you personally like don't like to wear lashes. Yes, I actually don't uh, usually wear lashes. Yeah. But what do you think about these lashes? This feels so nice. Like I checked myself when she did it. Um, yeah. I was checking myself and I was actually feeling like a star. It's, it's not too much. It's not too heavy. It's just the right amount. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the right amount of uh, body glam and glam. volume. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's really, because I don't have thick lashes, but I don't like to wear lashes yeah. because it feels a bit uncomfortable yeah. also sometimes also when you, yeah, and it doesn't feel, but this feels so natural, so light, and yeah. I don't feel like I'm wearing it. It yeah. doesn't feel heavy on my eye. I don't feel like something's on my eye. And also when I look at you from close, like close from here, I can't imagine your wearing lashes. It looks super natural. So for anyone who doesn't like to wear lashes, get the natural cheek lashes. And you can yes. reuse them. This is the second time I put it on her. And you can keep reusing. I think that's the beauty of good lashes. So now it's just one more step left. We're going to do the lipstick. Lipstick. Uh, we got a lot of lipsticks and today we are going to use Tell Laura, which is like a really bright, vibrant, like a coral red. It is so pretty. I'm going to use a brush and this is the only time I'm using a non Charlotte Tilbury brush. I mean, you can directly apply this from the bullet too, but uh, I just want to be very precise with especially red lipstick. And once it's completely filled, then I would go with the bullet and I would just dab it. Wow, that looks really beautiful. Yeah. And you're not a like a bright red lipstick kind yes, of person, right? Because it's so hard to, to match the, the yeah, yeah, to yeah. Cut, find the correct red. Your skin from yes. Somewhere.
So that's the tutorial for today and Saji is glowing and she is yes, gorgeous. Yes, I am glowing. I feel so much like a star right now. <laughs> that's fantastic because that's what I think Charlotte Tilbury intends with her makeup. So um, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today and we will see you very soon. Thank you very much for having me and no, making no. me feel like a star today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this one more time. We'll do like a get ready with us kind of video. Let us know if you want to see that soon. So we'll do it. Yes. All right. See you. See you.